Hey guys, welcome back here to the channel. Hope you're all doing good today. I hope you had a good Valentine's Day yesterday. And real quickly before we get into the video, I wanted to mention that we do have a new logo for the channel. So I really hope you like it. I love the new logo. I think it looks awesome. Made it all myself, so I hope you guys enjoy it. But uh, yeah, I think we'll stick with this one for a while. But um, we are also using some new background music. I, lo I used a new one yesterday. And I have a few more new ones that I've got that I'm going to start using now. we got a new one playing in the background now, but I'm going to start using a few new uh, background songs. And I like the new ones that, I've, that I'm going to use. But right here we have a level 5 fallow deer. We shoot him there with the M1, and he goes down pretty quickly. And we're going to pick him up here, and he is a diamond. 264.90. He's actually my biggest true diamond fallow deer a long time ago before i even had lodges i killed a 265 point something but i shot him in the spine so i messed him up and that was before i even had lodges so this is my biggest true diamond fallow deer at 264.90 he's a really nice fallow deer and looks really awesome in the lodge and right here guys we have a level five feral goat and we make a heart shot on him there while he's walking with the mosin and we're going to pick him up right here and he is a troll 200.30 so a pretty big troll, unfortunately. Um, trolled by quite a bit, but um, right after this guy, I killed a big level 4 feral goat that was pretty close to diamond. Literally right after I claimed him, I seen him. He was only like 4.5 off of diamond. Not going to include him because he was just a level 4 and he wasn't diamond. And later the, de later the day that I got this guy in the other big level 4, or yeah, later the day I got this guy in the level 4, I got another big level 4 that was even closer to diamond he was only like three off of diamond so uh had some crazy goat spawns that day uh this guy had trolled and two big level fours that almost made diamond right here we have a small wreck level nine red deer heart shot him there with the m1 we're gonna pick him up here and he is a diamond 253.10 so not very big because he is just a small wreck but another diamond red deer down for the grind this grind's getting getting a little bit annoying. I'm getting sick of grinding red deer. But right here we have yet another level 9 red deer. He's guaranteed diamond 261 on the low end of that estimate for that guy. So guaranteed to be at least 10 over diamond. And we pop him there with the 454. And he goes down pretty quickly. And we're going to claim him right here. And he's a pretty nice diamond 264.70. And we were almost way too high on that shot. We barely clipped the top of the lungs. Luckily, we didn't spine him or anything, but he's a pretty nice one, 264.70. About a half a pound off max weight. I wish he would have been max weight, but he's about a half a pound off of max weight. Um, but he's a pretty nice diamond. A big rack, another big rack diamond. We've been getting a lot of those recently. Right here, we have a piebald level 6 red deer way out there, almost 300 yards away. We shoot him there with the M1. Try to take a couple more shots at him as well, but the other ones miss. We're about to pick him up right here, and he is just a silver, guaranteed silver by the estimate. He's 167.30, so he did hit the top of their estimate, just like pretty much every other rare in the game. The only ones I've seen that don't hit the top of their estimate is rare fallow deer. Most of the time, they don't hit the top of their estimate, or the, uh, the albinos don't at least, because I got an albino not too long ago that didn't hit the top of his estimate for some reason, but a nice piebald red deer. I haven't got a rare in a while, so it's nice to see another rare. We hadn't got a rare for the grind in a little while, but we got another one with this guy. He's a pretty nice one. I like the way he looks. Pretty wonky. And right here, guys, we actually have an albino. You can't tell it good because he's back in the behind a tree and stuff, but he's a level 5 albino red deer stag. Only the second albino stag of the Tiaro grind. He goes down a little bit after this clip ends. And we're going to pick him up here. We're going to use him as a background. And there he is, 131.40. Albino red deer. We got long on both shots, but a beautiful albino red deer. Like I said before, I absolutely love him. Nowhere near as good as that mythical albino that we got, but he's still pretty nice. At least he was a stag this time, unlike that hind that we got in yesterday's video. But nice little albino. Always love getting the rare red deer. Right here, guys, we have another level 9 red deer. Small rack again. We pop him there with the M1. He goes down a little bit after this clip ends. We're going to claim him here. And he's a diamond, 253.60, 512.52 pounds, almost too high on that shot with the M1, but we got him. And another diamond red deer down for the grind. Hopefully that great one will show up. Right here, guys, we actually have another level 5 feral goat. And we shot him there. 
and it made an awesome shot with the Mosin. He goes down pretty quickly. We're going to claim him right here, and he's a troll, of course, just like the last one. 203.40, so a little ways under diamond, uh, but can't seem to get a diamond feral goat recently. We got that level 5 troll earlier in the video, and uh, like I said, the same day as that guy, we got uh, two big level 4s that were really close to diamond, but just didn't quite make it. And uh, like I said, I didn't figure I'd include them in the video just because they were level 4s, but... And then we got this troll, and they were all four in the same spot. Not at the same time, but... Uh, the first two were, but uh, all four of the goats, the two level fives and the big four, the two big fours, were all in the same drink zone at different times, which is crazy. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be it for this one. Just figured I'd show some of these highlights. We had quite a few highlights saved up, but that's going to be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like I said, I hope you enjoy the new background music and I hope you like our new logo for the channel. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. So, I really appreciate pre appreciate you guys watching. Um, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care. Peace.